Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Back Your Podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new here. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about the top 10 greatest players of all time on the Brooklyn Nets. Alright, coming in at our number 10 spot, no one really cares. The Nets are not exactly a good dynasty. Couldn't really find anyone that was worth mentioning at the number 10 spot. Oh my gosh. Worth mentioning at the number 10 spots. So yeah, coming in at the number 9 spot. 9 spot. We have Julius Irving, and he was a he was a washed player here at this time. Coming in at number eight, so we got Karis LeVert. Yeah, you're going to be shocked about how many players on the team nowadays are on this list. It's just absolutely ridiculous, if I'm be honest with myself. I mean, it's crazy. There's so many players nowadays because they're just so bad. Anyways, but yeah, Karis LeVert, he's got a bright future. He can drop dimes, he can score. He was their leader in the bubble as Katie and Kyrie were both hurt. He was their best player. By far. Coming out at the number seven spot, we have Spencer Dinwiddie, skills competition winner. Winner, he's this forward that uh can score. He has guard like skills, and he's big and he's he's uh he can finish at the rack. That's a pretty decent jumper. Um, <clears throat> he's just a good player overall. He's got he's very skilled and just like that layup right there. Coming out at the number seven uh six spot, we have Jared Allen. Very good defender. We don't like him anymore because of what he did to P.J. Walker tonight. But he's a very good defender. Uh, and just he can score when he, when he does it. He's got a decent offensive game. And a very mainly good for defense. <laughs> coming in at, or defense. Or coming in at the number five spot, we got Brooke Lopez. Big guy that can shoot it. That always ascent center especially. And has post moves. Those guys are always just great players. I don't know what it is, but every time. Well, it's probably because they can shoot it and they're seven foot. But <laughs> that's a great combination right there. Uh, coming in at number five spot, we are going. Or, or <laughs> number number four, we're gonna have to go with uh, Vince. I mean, I know he was kind of washed, but he still did a good amount of work. He was still a very good player. He could jump and could score, shoot the ball. He was a great player, even though he was kind of old. But coming in at number uh, three spot, we're going with Kyrie Irving. Um, he's just, he's, he's young, talented, he's only like 28 actually, he can score, he can shoot it, he's got handles, he can do a lot of things offensively. And coming in at number two spots, we have Jason Kidd. Debatable, I know, well, guess what, too bad, my list, not yours. <coughs> Sorry for your advertisement right there. <laughs> But at our number one spot, we have Kevin Durant. Yes, Kevin Durant. He's he's the best player easily. It's not even close. Really, he's just tall, can score, and has post moves as well. So make sure to like us up.